you want to go do a virtual hike up Volcan Pacaya, which is an active volcano, or do you want to see the city of Antigua surrounded by three volcanoes? I think they want to go on the hike. Okay, Pacaya. Okay, so I'm going to do a share screen, so just yell out if you do not see my screen. We see your screen. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to take a virtual tour, and we are going up Pacaya. So let's introduce Vulcan Pacaya, which is south of Guatemala City and Antigua. <laughs> Guatemala City is the capital, and we're going to start at the visitor center, and we're going to hike up the side of Vulcan Pacaya. So I keep saying Vulcan Pacaya. Vulcan Pacaya is how they say it in Spanish, um, or Volcano Pacaya, if you want to say it in English. So we're going to look at the volcano, the lava fields, and we're going to pan back up, and this is Volcano Pacaya. So again, it's a stratovolcano, so we get that nice cone shape. Uh, Pacaya is, let's see, 8,373 feet tall. It first erupted 23,000 years ago. The last uh, significant eruption was in 2014. And let's go ahead in the visitor center and let's meet our guide. So when you go to Volcano Pacaya, you have to hike up with a guide and you can meet them at the visitor center. They kind of point out the trail that we're going to take and then they take the group up. So one thing you'll notice about the ground here is all the soil is nice, dark, and black soil. So we're talking about having uh, nutrient-rich soil, and part of that is because of the ash. So whenever there's a eruption near Pacaya, the whole area gets covered with layers of ash. And a lot of people ask me, so we see a community down here. And I'm going to circle it for you guys. It's hard to see in the haze, but you can uh, just make out uh, all of the homes and the communities down there. And the most dangerous part about living beside a volcano, unless you're really close to uh, the summit, remember we said the splattering lava, that's clearly the most dangerous part. But for most people, the most dangerous part is ash. And as far as way as Guatemala City, during the 2014 eruption, Guatemala City was under a foot of ash, a whole foot of ash. And then when it rains, it just makes this big muddy soup of ash that uh, cars break down. It's just a huge, huge problem. Um, the geothermal activity in this area is very high. So people in the community, the local community, they can actually dig pits and cook food in the ground from the warm ground. Wow. All right. So we're going to continue hiking up the volcano. One thing you'll notice, uh, if this is a very hot tropical area in Guatemala. So it's very hot. There are people selling refreshments and snacks along the way. Does anyone have to use the bathroom? Uh, we can stop. Uh, this is what it looks like in here. There's a little squatty potty if anyone has to use it. No? Okay. Oh. Don't, say, don't say I didn't ask later, okay? All right. So we get to another rest spot. So bananas grow in Guatemala naturally. So you can buy bananas for super duper cheap. Uh, one of the cool fun facts about this spot is the last major eruption, if you remember, was in 2014. Uh, that was the last significant eruption. But the biggest recent eruption happened in 2010. And during the 2010 eruption, right in this, uh, on this spot, there was about three feet of ash or one meter of ash. Okay? You can imagine that much ash. That's a lot. And all the trees were covered with ash. All right, so our guide takes uh, this opportunity to cut some sticks. Uh, this is just a random guessing question. Does anyone have a guess what he's cutting all these small sticks for? Make fire. Make fire, okay. Uh, well, think about it, walking and we'll come, we'll come back to it. Kind of small for a walking stick, unless you're a gnome. All right, so 
<laughs> here we come at the end of our trail and we get our first view of Vulcan Pacaya. So I'm going to highlight a couple of things for you. So it's kind of hard to tell between the haze and all the fumes. So there are fumes coming up out. But remember I said the cauldron kind of collapsed in on itself. So we can't see it. But inside, if we had x-ray vision right now, Man, I should have brought my drone to fly over the volcano. Um, but there's actually a smaller cone that's forming, and this is where the lava is pouring out of right now. So one day that cone is going to grow up and become the, the new summit there. Okay, so there we go. And get a little bit closer look. If you look very closely, you can see some fumes coming out. And then we're going to pan across the lava field. So this lava field, I'm going to pause it right here and point a couple of significant things out for you. Ash. A couple of interest areas. One is the lava store. What? There's a store up here? Yes, the local Mayans up here, they actually sell things at the lava store. Did you know that the lava store used to be up here? Why do you think <laughs> the lava store is now located over here? Because it lava. Right, during the lava. So during the 2010 eruption, all of this lava flew down and filled up this area. Now, 